Good morning, Philippa. I think we're just waiting on your, there we go, just waiting on your uh, video as well. Simple. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so look, if you've been watching along, you've got five minutes and you can use that time as you wish, either to speak to us or uh, leave some time for questions. Thank you. Over to you. te mauri o te wahine. Chakina te mauri o te tangata. Chakina te tapu o te whare tangata. O te mokopuna o te tamariki. Ki te whaiao, ki te ao mārama. Ti hei mauri ora. I reserve my right as a sovereign woman to speak to this committee representing the Crown. I wish to remind the Crown of its obligations under He Whakaputanga, Me Tiriti o Waitangi. He Whakaputanga Article 2 asserts, foreigners will not be allowed to make or frame laws. It is common knowledge that these laws have been devised, framed and replicated by foreigners and instituted in foreign countries, specifically peddled and pushed by global law firm, Dentons. Te Tiriti o Waitangi Article 2. The Crown agrees to protect Rangatira and Hapu in the unqualified exercise of their chieftainship over land, villages and all their tonga. We Manawahine, who are the child bearers and life givers of Tangata Whenua, wish to inform and remind the Crown that our children and our grandchildren have and always will be our tonga and our villages our whānau. We as Māori have always celebrated relationships, sex and love in our many colourful ways, guises and states of being. Our rich history is indicative of the love Māori have for life. There is no evidence of trans ideology in our past. No waiata, no mōtietia, no haka, no peniraupatu, no whakatauki, no whakairo, because trans ideology came about from the 1950s in an American university, aided and abetted by New Zealand's own John Money, who's uh, been debunked, since been debunked. Being Māori, we have been made to order for our purpose, having been called forth from our tipuna. History shows us that since their arrival, the colonisers have lied, cheated and changed laws to the detriment of Māori. Biological facts remain facts for life and after. If you dig up a trans corpse, it will be identified as male. If you do DNA and lab tests on the cremated remains, it will be identified as male. Our ability as women of hapu to exercise our unreserved authority over our tonga and our whānau will be severely compromised by the BBNRR bill. This bill dictates that we forego our own tikanga, Māori tanga, material reality and biological facts. This bill is in favour of believing a set of unproven metaphysical foreign beliefs that have done more harm than good. As witnessed by the ever-growing international evidence being refuted by some committee members, this bill is attempting to create a legal fiction by proposing new clause clarifies that any individual private sector agency authorised or required to ascertain an individual's sex or gender for a particular purpose may take into account matters other than the information in a person's birth certificate in accordance with any other applicable legislation and the rules of the common law. Entering conversion therapy bill, BDM, RR, H speaks coming soon, surrogacy and adoption. The indecent haste with which this bill has been cobbled together and the underhand insertion of clauses with no public consultation is not only shady practice, but also dishonest. This will mean that all New Zealand birth certificates are not to be considered conclusive evidence of your sex observed at birth or historical fact. The introduction and bombardment of trans ideology propaganda flooding the institutions, universities, schools, workplaces, doctors' offices, surgeries, libraries, cafes, hospitals, etc., etc., is absolutely staggering, as must be the price for getting this all out there. Who pays for this? Is it the taxpayer or is it the private funders that are billion, billion, billionaires around the globe? I use the term propaganda deliberately. 
Information, especially of a biased or misleading nature, used to promote a political cause or point of view. I have personally experienced transgender intimidation and abuse. I have been called a cunt, a whore, a fucking old slut, and had to be personally escorted to my vehicle by a security guard due to the extreme level of abuse and threats of violence directed towards me and uh -huh. others. I'll just need to interrupt you there. Um, if we can, uh, we are at five minutes now, so we'll just give you another another couple of seconds. But if we can, just make a note of our language, just as we do have children often watching along with us. Uh, that's not my language. That was used against me, directed towards me and others. Yes, we can. Um, it is impossible abusive. to trans the gay. You can say that we've had a had an abusive abusive language to, uh, towards you is, is is fine for us to understand. I'll um, give you a couple more seconds, and then we'll thank you. To the next matter. I fully believe that this bill is not to be um, taken seriously in its present form. I recommend it gets scrapped and and gets redone. And it is impossible impossible to trans the gay away. Absolutely impossible. It's homophobic. Okay, thank oh, you. Yes, for the thank you. Thank you. We'll move on to the next submitter. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.